How's it going guys? Welcome to today's video. You know, I've been sick all week, so I didn't really have time to get any new footage and make a, well, shall we say a normal video for you. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to kind of give you a little tour around the ranch and show you some of the animals that we have and some of the things that we do out here. And I also want to um, tell you about a few things that are coming up pretty soon. Um, I guess you call that a teaser, something to look forward to. So anyway, let's, let's check some of this stuff out. Okay, so I shot that little intro and I got all these hungry cows staring at me. So I think the first thing that I better do is feed them. So if you saw the other video about feeding cows, you're probably wondering why this is different than what you saw before. Well, the reason is once the calves are weaned, I bring the cattle in the lot here and feed them at the manger because they don't stomp hay into the ground and waste it. All right, better feed the rest of these. Okay, I know it's pretty dark in here right now and it's kind of hard to see, but I was up here throwing bales down and you see how closely all the cows are standing together? When I was in high school and I was a dumb teenager, I actually climbed down there and I walked across their backs. And I think I got across, I don't know, I may be exaggerating, but let's say like 10 or 15 of them before they freaked out and ran. But you know, the, the, the things you do when you're young, much happier now. I think we forgot somebody. Oh yeah, okay, Hank, we're coming. So I feed Hank over here by himself so the cows don't rob all of his hay but in all honesty oh, he's probably ready to go in a stall for the winter so these cows all of them will not eat at this manger all year long and probably a week maybe two weeks we will take a little over half of them over to winter pasture and we'll definitely be making a video about that so I said I'd give you a little tour of the corrals and stuff, so I'm gonna make good on that right now. We are gonna walk over here. Everything's really muddy. We got a ton of rain today, which I guess is good. Everybody says we need it, so I guess we do. Okay, so this is a little working pen, which you guys have probably seen if you've watched many of my videos. So in a couple weeks, or right before the cows go to the winter pasture, I'll have them all run through the chute and I'll vaccinate and warm them before they go over there. It's just a good idea to do because they're going to a different environment. So I like to do that before I send them out. So when that day comes, we gather them all in this pen like we did when we weaned. And then I will take, oh, I don't know, three, four, run them back in here. And this is my crowd tub. I hope you can hear me over all the geese. There's a ton of geese flying over right now. So the way that this thing works is I'll chase, like I said, usually three works better. Four can get a little crowded, but you chase them down into the end here. And once you got them in there, this gate swings around. And this is the cool part. So it ratchets. So all I got to do is get the gate this far. And if a cow pushes back on me, she ain't going anywhere. Okay, so now I put myself inside the tub. So this is like cow view here. So I think this would be a better angle. So this gate would be coming around. It's a click, it's a click, it's a click. Before I know it, I'm trapped. I got nowhere to go except to the squeeze chute. In another video in the future, I'll show you how I rolled this metal out to make this nice radius here. And you can actually do it too. It's not that expensive. You do need some special tools, but they're not that expensive. So you can really justify it if you've got more than a few animals to work. We had cow view. Now this would be, well, typically this would be where my wife stands. 
as I bring the cattle in and close the gate on them, she'll walk along the catwalk here and push them up into the chute. Meanwhile, I'll be running around that way to get over to operate the chute. By the way it works, the cow runs through the chute, tries to get through the squeeze chute, but at that point, when her head goes through this head gate, we catch her that way. And then while she's fighting in there, well, first we will close the butt gate. And she can't back out on me. And then the body squeeze. So we will be running everybody through here in probably another couple weeks. So get ready for that. I'll make a video out of this. I don't know how interesting it is to people, but this water trough here is kind of in the way when I work cows, they all, they kind of want to bunch up into this corner over here. And that water trough kind of like creates almost like a mental barrier and they just kind of get locked in that corner. It's hard to get them out. So I'm thinking about taking this water trough and moving it over here because that's more where I'll be standing when I work them. And it should be out of the way, but it, I don't know. Well, we're gonna try it. Maybe it'll be better, maybe it won't be, and we'll have to move it back. So everything that you see that is wood has been here for a long time, and I'm, I'm slowly but surely, I'm trying to replace everything with metal because the theory is, and this is, I'm almost kind of embarrassed to show you some of this stuff, it's so run down, but the theory is you replace everything with metal while you're in your 30s, and then when you're in your 60s, you don't have to do it again like you would have to do if you redid everything out of wood. But I'm walking up here to show you um, where these guys are standing. Normally there would be a gate closed here. And anyway, you would back the trailer up to this alleyway. And like when we take calves to auction or when we take the cows over to the winter pasture, this is where we would back the trailer up and load them. So this is the next thing on my to-do list to redo in metal. Um, there's a project I have back in the shop that I want to finish first because I'm going to sell that and then use the money to fund this little project. And I'll show you that or what I'm working on in the shop in a minute. Okay, these guys are getting hungry now too, so I better feed them before we go any further. Okay, it's starting to get dark. Still gotta run home and have more animals to feed. So, um, I guess I'll bring you guys with me, why not? So, we're back at my house now, and I know I was gonna take you with me to feed these animals too, but it's really just too dark, and the camera's not picking much up, so um, it's just kind of pointless. But anyway, I told you I would give you some teasers about some upcoming projects. So that's what I'm gonna do now. The first thing is this old 53 Jubilee. Uh, this was actually my grandpa's tractor and I really wanna fix it up. Actually, it, it ran when I parked it, so I, I don't think it's gonna take much, just you know, some basic tune-ups. I mean, it's an old gas engine. Um, I had to build a new battery box for it because the old one was just destroyed. But So yeah, that's one thing that we're gonna be getting into. And the project I mentioned before that I was gonna sell to fund the loading chute is this squeeze chute. And I've actually been working on this kind of on and off for the last, oh, at least year. And so there's actually kind of a story that goes behind this. So I found this squeeze chute for sale actually on the side of the road when I was maybe 16 years old. And somehow I convinced my grandpa that we needed it. And to be truthful, we did need it. I mean, we didn't, all we had was a head gate. And I know some guys, that's all they use, but their cattle are probably a lot tamer than ours because it, it was just a rodeo every time we had to do something. Anyway, so we got this and I had that up um, where the last one I showed you is. It was probably there for oh, maybe 10 years. And over the years, there were things that broke and there were things that I decided I didn't like and this and that, but I never actually took the time to fix those things because I always needed to use it. Well, 
fast forward, I don't know, maybe six years, and I was able to trade for that other one I got, and I was finally able to get this one out of there. So now, I'm going through and I'm fixing everything that I ever didn't like about this. And when I'm done with it, it is gonna be better than it ever was new. So it's gonna be a really good deal for somebody. I won't ever use it again. I thought about keeping it, you know, in case um, we were able to rent some more ground or whatever, but if that ever happens, I'm thinking I'll be just as well off just to build a new one. I mean, when this thing's done, it's almost gonna be completely new. Um, but a couple of the things I did was like, I replaced these, I beefed them up. These were all like quarter inch thick, now they're three eighths. Um, we, actually when we got this, we bent it, unloading it. This piece, that piece was bent from the day I set it up and I finally got that cut out and put a new one in. Um, this whole handle mechanism is pretty much all new and that's again a lot stronger than what was there um, and same with the head gate I mean and I've still got more work to do but this is something that we'll definitely be making some videos on because I think this stuff is cool and if you're subscribing to my channel you probably think it's kind of cool too and especially for guys that only have you know a few cows um, if you ever have to doctor one and they're not really tame that can be a problem unless you have one of these. And they're really not that hard to make. And I think if I kind of walk you through and show you some of the stuff that I've done to this in a little more detail, you can look at that and be like, hey, you know what? I could do that too. So anyway, I know today's video is a little bit of a different style than what we're used to doing. Um, I guess it's more of like a vlog style. And probably time to time I will be doing these because as many projects as I have going on at the ranch, not all of them are stuff that I think people are actually gonna find interesting. So I'm not gonna make videos about every single thing I do because I understand that it's not interesting to everybody. So um, it's a good opportunity to give you guys some updates, show you what's going on and show you what's coming up. So anyway, I think that's all I've got for you. Hang with me today and follow me around while I do my chores. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.